Hello everyone, my name is Flag and welcome to another episode of Frag Pro Shooter. So two days ago or later, depending on when you're watching this, we live streamed and played Stella's Challenge. Unfortunately, the result was not great. We had a couple of hard matchups and we had to redo the challenge a couple of times. And at the end, I had to use my diamonds to skip the 12 wins and then get to 20 wins. So we couldn't really fulfill our full potential. But today, I am here to redeem myself and make it up to those of you in the live chat who wanted me to not use my diamonds to skip the 12 wins. So this is not my main account. This is Flagbase account who helps me with the production of my videos. This is a totally free to play account meaning we don't have a season pass and don't have many diamonds and you have to watch ads before opening every single chest. After the stream, I went on Flagbase account and started playing the challenge knowing I will only have one chance to win this. And luckily, I was able to pull off the 20 wins. First try. This whole thing took me around 40 minutes worth of gameplay and I thought, what better opportunity to give you guys some tips on winning Stella in her challenge, which comes back in two weeks, and also some random draft tips in general, which you can use for future random deck challenges. Let's get into the first match and see what's happening. So in this first match, both me and my opponent have Stella, which is good, and I usually should be able to win this matchup unless they have a second great card like Archon or Ronin. But so far in this match, I'm doing good. Unfortunately, this opponent was a little bit laggy, but at the very end, which is around now, I took advantage of my Stella's super to rush and destroy my opponent's main tower while they were busy doing something else which they shouldn't have been doing. That was an easy game for me, so although we didn't have a great start in the beginning, I managed to get a solid win at the end. So in case you want to make sure, here's the proof that I'm playing on Flagby's account and the number of diamonds is not going to change at the very end of the video as well. We collect our first gift, uh, which requires watching an ad, and we get a couple of diamonds. So let's hop into the next match and see what we have. Jumping into the next match, my opponent has Stella, Tankbot, and Soiki-chan as their good cards, which they should be controlling and playing with. And as good cards, I only have Cleo and Lollipop. I knew that I'm not gonna have Stella in, in this match because you get Stella in every other match. That means the first match you get Stella, in the second one you don't, in the third one you get her again, and so on. As you can see already, my opponent is a little bit laggy as well, which is gonna make things harder. As you see me rush with my Cleo, I'm gonna give you the first general tip for random deck challenges. So this applies to both Stella's challenge that comes back in two weeks and any and every other challenge in the future. Tip number one, stay offensive and keep your opponent under pressure. This is really crucial if you wanna make sure that you can get to 20 wins. As you probably know, these new card challenges are played in frenzy mode, which means the cards are gonna spawn much faster, are gonna require half the time to respawn back, and also the damage that cards deal to bunkers is twice as much as it is in the normal period. So over here, I'm playing as my lollipop. I'm trying to stop my opponent's push, my opponent is not playing as their Stella. This is a mistake by my opponent and this is why they didn't win this game. Because honestly, with both Stella and Tankbot against the cards that I have, it would have been really tough for me to defend against their Stella. But fortunately for me, they're not playing as their Stella and I'm, and I'm managing to rush with my Cleo and get bunkers one after the other. Another important tip over here would be using your super as much as you can. As you just saw, I used my Cleo to dodge some shots and survive and try to get to a health pack. Of course, I didn't manage to do that, but that's what you gotta try to do at least. So now switching back to Lollipop, I'm trying my hardest to get to my opponent's main tower and finish the game before they can go after my bunkers and the main tower. Of course that was a little bit of a fail by my super, I should have used my lollipop super a lot better, but I just walk up the stairs, uh, go up the staircase, deal some damage to the, to the main tower and drop my jelly right there so if my opponent comes after me they're gonna get trapped or they're gonna get distracted and delayed for a couple of seconds and that gives me enough time to finish the game with the second win. Surprisingly, Valkia became my best player which I have no idea how happened. So going into the third match, I know that I'm gonna have Stella, I also have Hunter and Soyuki chan and my opponent has Stella too, and Cyber Girl as their backup card. So in this game, I am gonna exclusively play with my Stella, and if she's being respawned, I'm gonna switch to my Hunter, which is again a great card to control to main and get bunkers with. 
So I start my match with Stella as I said, I use my super to the fullest, I take out 2 or 3 cards when my opponent was defending and I manage to easily get the first bunker. This is important to go after the bunkers and not get too distracted by your opponent's cards because again, the cards are gonna respond much faster than the normal period which we are used to. Again, I'm gonna use my overpowered Stella to get another frag and unfortunately, I get a little bit too confident with my Stella and I have to switch to another card, uh, which I already explained is gonna be Hunter. So using my Hunter, I was trying to get my opponent's Stella, but when I switched to my Hunter, I didn't have a lot of health and I didn't have my super. So, so the opponent was able to use their overpowered Stella to get my Hunter. But fear not because we already have Stella and she's back in our deck. I'm gonna use her, get a bunch of shots, get Cyber Girl on my way my opponent is ignoring my Stella for some reason and knowing that I have a huge advantage if you look at the scores at the top of the screen I'm just gonna fly my way up to the opponent's main tower and it's only gonna take me 10 or 15 main shot studies with Stella to get my opponent's bunker so that was a third win and let's hop into the fourth match this match I have Duncan, Cleo and Lucha Morta as my good cores and my opponent has Cypher, Vandal and Cacterina I would say I probably have the matchup because of the fact that I have Lucha, the best tank card in the game and I also have Duncan which I can use to rush with in frenzy mode. So you guys are gonna see how I use my Duncan to defend my opponent's first push, first attack and then I'm gonna use him to counter attack. So the second general tip for random deck challenges is to recognize your best cards as I've been doing and have a strategy to get the best out of them. So what are the best cards in the game right now? Stella, Archon, Ronin, Hakurio, Duncan, and Romero, BB, Ripping Finn are just some of the best cards that you should be controlling. And as you see over here, I'm using my Duncan to rush my opponent's bunker and we're gonna come back with rushing bunkers in the next tip again. So after dealing a lot of damage to my opponent's bunkers, they are finally gonna be able to use their Cacturina to get my Duncan and I'm gonna switch to my Lucha knowing that there is only a little bit health, a little bit of HP on the second bunker and I wanna get rid of it to be able to go to the main tower and finish the game as soon as possible. It's unfortunate that I get stuck in both Cypher, Super and Cacturina's trap but still we are leading with a lot of points and I'm gonna switch back to Duncan to rush my opponent again. Of course I get rid of my opponent's uh, one or two attack cards over here, the Cacturina, the Vandal and also and my Cleo frags out the Cypher so I don't have to worry about their push anymore and I just gotta go after the main bunker to finish off the game. Here I mess up my Duncan super but it's still no problem with the cards that I've got I should be able to finish the game without any consequences to this minor mistake. I finally finish off the Genkis and I want to get rid of this bot because sometimes bot mama can be really annoying with her bots especially in frenzy mode especially in draft challenges or I should say random draft challenges and I use my Duncan to dunk on my opponent's bunker and have an epic finish to this game. Going for my 5th win, this time I have Stella, Cyber Girl and Boss as our best cards and the opponent has Stella, Duncan and Blot. They also have Bobblers who is a great counter to Stella. So I know that if I want to win this match easily, I need to keep pressure on my opponent using the best card in the game right now, Stella. So again my opponent is not maining their Stella which is a great mistake by them and this is what's gonna cost them although they have better cards. Of course they are a little bit laggy as well which is gonna be frustrating for me but I know about a couple of tricks which you can use against laggy opponents to secure yourself a win. I stopped my opponent's first push with my Stella and now I'm counter pushing going for their bunker. I'm gonna try to dodge and evade every of my opponent's cards. I'm not gonna spend time attacking them because my opponent is lagging and a lot of my shots will not connect to their troops. So I go after the first bunker. Uh, I try to deal some damage with my super to my opponent's cards as well and after that I'm just gonna try to go for the other bunk here but first I gotta pick up a health pack because I gotta play this match fast and quick if I wanna make sure I can use this match without having to struggle against their Stilla, Duncan and Blot. At the very end I get caught in my opponent's Bubbler's Bubble and this is why I said Bubbler is a good counter to Stella. He might not be able to finish her off but still 10 seconds is a long time to be stuck in the bubble. So I'm gonna switch back to my boss and try to defend against my opponent's Stella but a Stella on her broom 
is too powerful for an old boss to deal with even if he has his super up. So my opponent is gonna get rid of my boss and I'm not gonna spend any time trying to defend because I know that my opponent is gonna be busy with my other cards that are gonna respawn and I'm just gonna switch back to my Stella because I know I have a huge lead and I can just finish up the game before my opponent gets both of my bunkers and goes after my main tower. And as I switch to Stella to fly to my opponent's main tower and finish off the game, I'm gonna give you the next tip for random draft deck challenges. Don't be afraid to rush with your defense or camp cards if they are the right cards. And I'm talking about Duncan, Jab, Boss, Queen Unicorn, and Medusa. Of course with cards like Boss and Medusa you shouldn't just attack, it depends on the scenario and the matchup and, and so on. But overall don't be afraid to defend a little bit and then rush with your defensive cards. So going for my 6th match, I have Cacterina, Hunter, Queen Unicorn and Sombrero and my opponent only has Solotron and possibly Striker and Ape Suit which are just decent cards, especially Striker because of the bug that is going on uh, since a couple of months ago now. So I'm gonna use my Cacterina which is one of the best bunker breakers in the game, especially in frenzy mode. And this might be the perfect time to give you the next tip for random draft deck challenges. And the tip is, know the bunker breaker cards. And some of these cards are Cacterina, Buck, Mr. Do, Frisbee, Ollie, Stella, Wolfson, even Tankbot, and so on. Even Ape Suit is a good card, and if you have your super up with him, you should use it as you can see over here to wreck your opponent's bunker in a couple of seconds. These are some of the cards that you need to prioritize to get to your opponent's bunkers and take out their bunkers as fast as you can. Over here you can see that I'm using my Ape Suit Super again. Another small tip that I can give you is to know which cards have good AI. For example, Sombrero and Solotron are two of the cards that are in this game. My opponent has Solotron and I have Sombrero. And as you saw, I didn't control my Sombrero once and I just relied on my other cards to get some frags and pop up some Sombrero Spectres. Going into the 7th match, I have both Stella and Archon and my opponent has Stella, Hades and Solotron but what matters over here is that I have arguably two of the best cards in the game right now again, Stella and Archon so if I play this correctly, my opponent should not have a chance against me uh, again, I'm gonna use my Stella to stop my opponent's push. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a health back on my way to my opponent's bunker, and I'm gonna take advantage of my Stella's super, which deals a lot of damage. And already, my Archon has taken out my opponent's bunker. And my opponent is trying their best to defend against my Stella and Archon, but these two cards are on a completely different level. So over here I get the second bunker and I finish off the Solotron on my way to their main tower and as you just saw with some swift and quick moves I'm leading this game by a lot. A good fact that you should know about Stella is that she can 6 or even 5 shot a bunker. That is a bunker not the main tower of course. That comes handy when you're shooting a bunker and depending on how the purple stars and how the homing of the purple stars work you can get a bunker with as few shots as 5 main shots. So over here I use my Archon to stop my opponent's Stella, pick up a health pack on my way to my opponent's bunker and I'm gonna switch to Stella to finish off the game. Uh, I'm gonna use my super and I'm not afraid of my opponent's Hades effect that is eating away my Stella because I know that the game is gonna finish with a couple of Stella supers yellow stars. Now going into match 8, I have Oli, Blot, Vandal, Medusa, and JB. And my opponent has Miss Bunny and two solid defense cards, Soyuki-chan and Jab, but I would say that I have the matchup in this game. So over here I start with my Oli, which is a great bunker crusher, uh, or bunker breaker, however you wanna call it. I'm gonna try to use her to stop my opponent's push. Unfortunately I didn't do it so effectively, so I had to use my super on my opponent's striker. And over here I am trying to get my Laika. I move a little bit to the side to make sure that both Laika and Miss Bunny are lined up in the same line. So after I take out the Laika, I'm gonna take out Miss Bunny. And that's exactly what happens. So I know that I'm targeted by Soiki Chan. So I go for the health pack because I don't wanna get fragged out with my opponent's jab. Which is rushing from the side over here. And that is too obvious, he's not gonna be able to do anything with those kind of movements. And I'm up to what he's trying to do. Over here it's taking me a little bit more than it should to take out my opponent's jab. But jab's shield does have a lot of HP right now. And this is why my opponent is gonna be able to take out my first bunker and take the lead so far. 
and realizing that I'm not gonna just sit back I'm just gonna try to defend this miss bunny and go after the bunker and keep them under pressure as I said in my first tip so over here I use my super to get to my opponent's bunker as fast as I can and this is again the perfect example of the next tip that I'm gonna give you go for a double lane pressure if you can and keep changing bunkers to have your opponent chasing you from one bunker to the other so I already told my cards to go to the left bunker and I went to the right bunker and although my opponent completely stopped my cards that were attacking from the other lane I got the first bunker and went to finish off the second bunker and now I'm just gonna go after their main tower and try to finish it off as soon as I can. Uh, this doesn't mean that I'm gonna completely ignore my opponent's push so I switch back to Vandal to try to get a second card on my opponent's main tower. But since the difference in points is not that high, I am gonna use my Vandal over here to defend just a little bit. But knowing that I have some decent defensive cards such as JB and Medusa, I am gonna give up on chasing that Miss Bunny and I'm gonna use my Vandal to get my opponent's bunker and deal as much damage as I can to their bunker. And guys, this decision making is what wins you the games. This match wasn't that close, but in closer matches, such decision making is what decides the outcome of the game. So let's get into the ninth match where I have Stella, Hunter and Duncan and my opponent has Stella, Duality and Dr. Crow as our best cards. So again having Stella and Duncan I am quite confident that I can win this match easily. And that includes starting the game, controlling Stella and pushing back on my opponent's push if they're coming from the right lane which they're not. They're sitting back and that's a mistake by them and I'm gonna use my Stella super to punish my opponents both for not playing as their Stella and also sitting back on defense when they don't have the right cards. As I already said it's just gonna take my Stella 5 or 6 shots to get the first bunker and thanks to my hunter and the AI that was controlling him the other bunker is already gone and I'm gonna go for the main tower for the finish. So at this point my opponent cannot do anything and that's mainly because of the wrong decision that they made a couple of seconds earlier. Once again this match should show you why you should stay aggressive so we collect our reward at 9 wins and let's get into the 10th match which is gonna be the longest match of this video. So in this match I have Ripen Fiend, Cleo and Hannibal as my best cards and my opponent has Stella, Archon and Hunter. So I already know that this is gonna be a tough matchup and I'm gonna have to play perfectly because as you know Stella and Archon are the two strongest cards in the game and some of the easiest cards to play. So early in this game my opponent is trying to rush with their Stella, they're not even gonna try to confront my Rip and Finn and I'm gonna use my super to successfully get rid of my opponent's Stella over here. I see that Hakuryu and Archon are already coming from my tower but unfortunately Unfortunately, not only my opponent has three of the best cards in the game, they are also lagging which makes the game quite unplayable for me and that is unfortunate. So my opponent uses their Archon to get my quarter back and I'm gonna have to switch to Virus and use my super on my opponent's Archon to get rid of them. Of course, since they're lagging it's gonna be difficult again but at least I got rid of them. So this is the perfect example of the next tip that I wanna give you. Here I should not have fragged out my opponent's Hakuryo, I should have went after their Stella first and then tried to get their Hakuryo. Why? Because Stella is by far the best card in the game right now. My opponent was making a mistake in not playing their Stella and I should have taken advantage of that and tried my best with my Cleo to get my opponent's Stella and then go after their Hakuryo. But of course in such a short time it's gonna be very difficult to make such tough decisions and honestly I'm not sure if that would have made a huge difference. So I use my quarterback to deal some more damage to my opponent's bunker. The game is quite even so far. Uh, I, I gotta get back to my Rip and Finn which is one of the decent counters to Stilla. I'm gonna use my super over here to get my opponent's Stilla and deal some more damage to Archon. Hopefully I can get them before my opponent switches to Archon and gets the shield but unfortunately they switch to Archon just in time and I have to rely on my virus to get the Archon so so again I gotta keep pressure on my opponent's bunkers and get rid of them unfortunately both of my opponents are still up so I can't just go for the main tower but my quarterback gets the first bunker but before I can use my Rip and Finn to go for the second bunker my opponent's Genkis gets me with only 90 HP on my bunker, I know that my opponent is coming with their Stella and I'm not gonna have a great chance of stopping them. Again, they are lagging and they're not gonna get as much damage as they should from my Cleo. And my opponent is gonna use their Stella super to get to my main bunker and finish off the game. It's a pity that my opponent was lagging as well because I think if they weren't lagging, I might have pulled off the miracle to win that match.